Hi, and this is my sixth tutorial. Today we're um, let an enemy go in a vehicle, and to do that we need to use the flow graph. So first of all, R to type entity database, and we need to open vehicles. Vehicles MP are the multiplayer vehicle. I'm just going to take the vehicles, the normal. Uh, this won't come because I already loaded it. So just load it like usual and go back to perspective. So now we have our vehicles. Airland C, let's take land. And the Asian LTV. Where is it? Doesn't want to come. Oh god. Oh god. Um Sometime it sometimes it just comes somewhere and somewhere way back you don't want to see it. Um, so there we are. Just get your vehicle in position, drag it a little, and one thing when you have like you want to move it and you only can do it in steps or something like this. Go on this um, on this one here that's next to the um, snap angle thing and press on this little arrow and 0 0.125 and you can move it very smooth now. So Pick your enemy, your AI, that should enter the vehicle. Well, I'm just going to make a new one. There he is. Just select him, scroll down to flow graph and create. I'm going to name it enter. Like enter vehicle. Now, this is our flow graph window and right click in the gray add node misc start now here's our thingy thing you can um, scroll with your wheel but to make it easier right click fit to graph to view if you hold your right mouse button and drag you can look around now right click and we still um, we still have selector enemy, so just add selected entity. Now, when the game starts, just hold here by output and enable, not disable. Enable. Right click again, add node, vehicle, and enter. Right click, assign selected entity. We still have selected our enemy, so we can do that right now. When this is enabled, make sync. Go to sync. Now, right click, add node, entity, entity ID. This is the vehicle. Put this a little down, choose your vehicle, and choose this one, left click on it, then right click and assign selected entity. Now this is our Asian LTV, our vehicle, and now hold ID and go up here to vehicle ID. So if you select this one, 
the vehicle enter with left and then on your upper right you see seat press on any and then on the arrow you can select where your enemy should on which seat he should go like driver gunner seat one two three and so on and so on I'm gonna put it in the driver seat so when the game starts our enemy is gonna be enabled when our enemy enabled is enabled then he should enter a vehicle and he should enter this vehicle so just close this and just AI and generate all navigation control G go in the game look if it works Oh, he can't go in. It's a little too. Couldn't go in now. It was too. Now it should work. Now he goes in. And he doesn't go in. <laughs> ah. works. So, you can do the same with other vehicles, boats, airplanes, with other vehicles. Just when you, um, if you want to open a flow graph or you did something wrong, select your enemy, go down and just open flow graph and you have it again. You just need to, um, here, Assign select the entity, just assign um, other vehicle on this one, like a boat or something. So, this was my tutorial how to let enemies go in the, in the vehicles. And yeah, see you next time where we are gonna learn how to let an uh, enemy drive a vehicle a path, like a road. So, bye.